This episode brought to you by preparewithdronetech.com. These days, the future is still more uncertain than ever. That's why people who know what's coming are using today to prepare. You can't wait until the last moment. By then, it's too late. The most important thing you need is long-term storage emergency food. And saving $50 is impossible to pass up, but supplies are limited. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. That's Prepare with Drone tech.com there's no time to lose do it now how you can say that is not gain of function it is not it's a dance and you're dancing around this because you're trying to obscure responsibility for four million people dying around the world okay. from a pandemic well now you're getting into something if the point that you are making is that the the, the grant that was funded as a sub award from eco health to wuhan created sars cov2 that's where you are getting let me finish. We don't know. We well, don't wait know a minute. If it didn't I come can from the lab, but all you. the evidence is pointing that it came from the lab. You and there will be responsibility for those okay. who funded the lab, including yourself. I the alleging is that gain of function research was going on in that lab, and NIH funded it. That you is can't not get away from it. It meets your definition, and you are obfuscating the truth. And you are implying that what we did was responsible for the deaths of individual. I totally resent and that. Have and if anybody and is lying been. here, Senator, it is you. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for watching. Do you all remember way back, like way, way, way back a couple months ago when Senator Rand Paul grilled Dr. Fauci about funding gain-of-function research at the very same Wuhan lab that this virus likely escaped from? Remember how angry Dr. Fauci got when an elected representative in the process of oversight asks probing questions about this funding and even accused Dr. Fauci of being a liar, which is against the law when you're under oath and testifying to Congress. Dr. Fauci, knowing that it is a crime to lie to Congress? Do you wish to retract your statement of May 11th where you claimed that the NIH never funded gain-of-function research in Wuhan? Senator Paul, I have never lied before the Congress, and I do not retract that statement. This paper that you are referring to was judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain-of-function. So what was saying, let me take, finish you take an animal virus and you increase its yeah. transmissibility to humans right. you're saying that's not gain of function yeah that is correct and and senator paul you do not know what you are talking about quite frankly and i want to say that officially you do not know what you are talking about pepperidge farm remembers i remember that too and since we're discussing ancient history let's talk a little bit about the media reaction to this exchange instead of holding dr fauci's feet to the fire which actual journalists would do they actually maligned and attacked an elected representative instead of scrutinizing fauci we got this senator Rand paul well he tried to make dr anthony fauci into his personal punching bag today as they went head to head over the senator's bogus claims that the national institute of health somehow played a role in funding research that led to the origins of the pandemic. And Dr. Fauci was definitely not having it. Well, what is wrong with Rand Paul? Seriously. I know that's what you at home are thinking, because I'm thinking the same thing. What's wrong with him? What is he trying to prove? Rand Paul, stop it. You look like an idiot. Dr. Okay. Fauci, we've just been talking about how Dr. Fauci, you know, in every interview for the mm -hmm. past 16 months that we've been talking to him, is very even keeled. He listens to everybody's questions. He tries to answer them. But that was a different um, tone than he had taken. It sounded like he had really sort of hit his limit. But as you said, you said it perfectly. He's done. He's had enough, Allison. Some people, uh, frankly, on the right, and, it, and it's a precursor to this misinformation campaign we're seeing right now, uh, want to use him as an example of how what you're seeing, what you're feeling, what you're hearing with regard to COVID is not actually true.
And check out some of these ridiculous headlines at the time. Claiming Fauci destroyed Rand Paul. Ironically, The Intercept joined in on this dogpile at the time, claiming that Rand Paul demanding accountability, quote, chills scientific debate. That brings us to the breaking news on this subject, brought to us by the very same Intercept, who got their hands on solid proof that Dr. Fauci lied via the Freedom of Information Act. From the article, quote, newly released documents provide details of the U.S. funded research on several types of coronaviruses at the Wuhan Institute of Virology in China. The Intercept has obtained more than 900 pages of documents detailing the work of EcoHealth Alliance, a U.S.-based health organization that used federal money to fund bat coronavirus research at the Chinese laboratory. The bat coronavirus grant provided the EcoHealth Alliance with a total of 3.1 million, including 599,000 that the Wuhan Institute of Virology used in part to identify and alter bat coronaviruses, likely to infect humans. EcoHealth Alliance? Why, that's the very same organization that Dr. Fauci admitted to funding so they could work on viruses at the Wuhan lab. But, but definitely no gain of function research. The Intercept also interviewed a molecular biologist at Rutgers University named Richard Ebright, who confirmed saying, quote, viruses that constructed were tested for their ability to infect mice that were engineered to display human type receptors on their cell. Ebright even went as far to straight up call Dr. Fauci a liar, saying, the documents make it clear that assertions by the NIH director, Francis Collins, and the NIAID director, Anthony Fauci, that the NIH did not support gain of function research or potential pandemic pathogen enhancement at the Wuhan Institute of Virology are untruthful. You guys think good in there or what, Is it good? <laughs> bye bye, dickhead. So I think we have to tip our hat to the left wing intercept for doing real journalism and holding a left wing icon to account for his seemingly unchecked, unelected power. It'll be interesting to see if the other networks pick up this story or if the intercept becomes the next target of the extreme left. That's all I have for this one. As always, please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, I've been uploading a lot of shorts lately, experimenting with that format. So make sure to check out that playlist when you get a chance.